Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today, day 79 of the 365 day trivia road trip. This is a year full of 21 question random knowledge trivia quizzes that we post every single day. There's 20 questions up front. There's a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end of the video if you need to stick around for that. Thank you guys for watching and good luck on today's quiz. Question number one, also known by a much more violent nickname, what is the four letter name of the largest species of dolphin that is featured in the documentary Blackfish, which reports on the controversies of this species of animal being captive at SeaWorld? Also known as a killer whale, the four letter name is an orca. Question number two, named for the French royal family, what is the street in the French Quarter of New Orleans that is a popular tourist attraction famous for its nightlife that is lined with bars, cabarets, and restaurants? Named for the House of Bourbon, the answer is Bourbon Street. Question number three. A highly intelligent and athletic English archaeologist who ventures into ancient tombs and hazardous ruins around the world. What is the name of the fictional character and the main protagonist of the video game franchise, Tomb Raider? The answer is Lara Croft. Question number four. He first appeared in 1920 in a series of children's stories, and he shuns human patients in favor of animals. What is the name of the extremely talented linguist and veterinarian created by American author Hugh Lofting? The answer is Dr. Doolittle. Question number five. His works include the haunting short story, A Rose for Emily, an experimental work called Light in August, and his 1929 masterpiece, The Sound and the Fury. What is the name of this writer from Mississippi? The Sound and the Fury was written by William Faulkner. Question number six. What is the stage name of the American musician, singer, and songwriter that famously recorded songs like 1956's Long Tall Sally and Tutti Frutti and 1958's Good Golly Miss Molly The answer is Little Richard. Question number seven. The smallest wavelengths and the most energy of any wave in the electromagnetic spectrum, what type of radiation is used to sterilize food, strengthen plastics, and turn Dr. Bruce Banner into the Hulk? What type of radiation? The answer is gamma, gamma radiation. Question number eight. In a 1965 television broadcast, what leader of the Manhattan Project recalled seeing the detonation of the first atomic bomb and was reminded of the line from the Hindu scripture, now I am become death the destroyer of worlds.
The answer is Oppenheimer. J. Robert Oppenheimer. Question number nine. Having long been equated with something fast-flowing and dazzlingly bright, what color metaphor naturally describes the tongue of an eloquent and artfully persuasive orator? Sometimes people who have a way with words are referred to as silver-tongued. Silver is the answer. Question number 10. I have not yet begun to fight was the immortal retort from what captain to a request to surrender as he and his crew engaged in a desperate battle with a British frigate off the northern coast of England during the American Revolution. The answer is John Paul Jones. Question number 11. Apiaries come in many sizes and can be rural or urban depending on the operation. Furthermore, an apiary may refer to a hobbyist setup or those used for commercial or educational usage of what beneficial insect? The answer is the B. Question number 12, formerly known as the cutaneous marginal pouch, what is the common name for the fold of skin that forms an open pouch on the lower posterior part of the external ear of a normal cat? Officially, it's a cutaneous marginal pouch, but the common term is Henry's Pockets. Question number 13. In the movie Dirty Dancing, when Johnny Castle, played by Patrick Swayze, comes back to Kellerman's for the final dance of the season, he walks up to the Hausman family and he says, what forever iconic movie line? He says, nobody puts baby in the corner. Question number 14. Brendan Fraser, Steve Buscemi, and Adam Sandler star together as a band of loser musicians who stage a hijacking of a local radio station in an attempt to get airplay for their demo recording in what 1994 comedy film? The answer is Airheads. Question number 15. Lorenzo's Oil, White Palace, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Thelma and Louise, and Bull Durham are among her popular early films. What is the name of this Academy Award winning New York actress? The answer is Susan Sarandon. Question number 16. Bringing together more than 12 nations and over 240 athletes who competed in 43 events, the first modern Olympic Games held by the International Olympic Committee was hosted in what city in 1896? The answer is Athens, Greece. Question 17. Which country would you be in if you were climbing one of the highest mountains in the Alps, the Matterhorn? 
taking a look at the view across Lake Geneva and then visiting the capital city of Bern. The answer is Switzerland. Question number 18. While some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. According to 1 Timothy, it's not just money, but the love of money that is what? According to 1 Timothy, it's the love of money that is the root of all evil. Question 19. What is the name of the American chain of fast food restaurants that specializes in seafood whose name is derived from a fictional pirate from the novel Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson? That restaurant is Long John Silver's. And question 20. Ahead of Jane Austen and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, according to the American Film Institute, what author has had more works put to film than any other single author in history? That author is William Shakespeare. That makes sense. Although there are a lot of Sherlock Holmes movies, there's a ton of movies based on William Shakespeare stories. That is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Join us tomorrow for day number 80. Uh, if you want to go back and play some specific, I think we even have a William Shakespeare trivia. If you want to go back and play specific categories of trivia, you can do that on our YouTube channel page. Just click over there, take a look, check it out. Um, if you want to follow along with us as we release these new videos every single day of this year, click subscribe. The plan is to post new trivia quizzes every single day for the rest of the year. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker. In tennis, what is the minimum number of points which a player must win to win a set? The minimum number of points is 24 because you need four points to win a game and six games to win a set which means you got to win at least 24 points to win a set. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.